All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants... Opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to upscale love for you. Hello, everyone. This is yours truly, Dr. Fabulous, the founder and CEO of Upscale Love for You. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join us on Tantalizing Talk Thursday, where the conversations are always hot and exciting. So stay tuned and get ready because we are going to have an absolute fabulous good time. And guess what, y'all? Smooches. Mwah. Yeah, it's your boy Jay just checking in. Hey, we're going to be live Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. You in for an awesome time. As I say, God is amazing, and so are you. Follow my smoke, follow my praise. Keep laughing, keep loving, keep living. Let's go. Hey, it's your girl, Special K. Welcome to Upscale Love for You. A big thank you to each and every one of you for joining in to tonight's show. You're guaranteed to have a great time with our hot topic and tantalizing talk. Welcome each and every one to the episode of Upscale Love. I'm your boy, Action J. We will discuss all the juicy, season hot topic. I guarantee tonight's show is going to be very, very hot and excited. So I want you to sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. This is yours truly, Lady T, coming live from the 305. Come join us on Thursday night for Tantalizing Talk at 8.30. It will be hot, hot, hot. Greetings, this is Dr. Feelgood, the man with the golden voice, the lady's choice, and of course, smoothers of Rolls Royce. Coming to you live from the 571, where we get things done and we're having fun. Welcome to the show. You're going to have a good time because we keep it right and we keep it tight. All I like to say is, never make love by the garden gate. Though love is blind, the neighbors ain't. Upscale love for you. The program participants' opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to upscale love for you. Good evening and welcome, everyone. This is yours truly, Dr. Fabulous, and we're back tonight, hotter than heavy. Welcoming back our one and only Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> While he was on his little Kappa tour. But you know, J15 is coming Sunday, y'all, for all the ski weeks, all the ladies out there of Alpha Kappa Alpha. So tonight, I'm coming full blast. Hopefully, you'll have a great time. If this is your first time, don't let it be your last. And as I stated, I am the one and only Dr. Fabulous CEO of Upscale Love for You. And now I'm turning it over to the one and only. Dr. Feel Good. Glad to be back, Dr. Fabulous. Here's me, Dr. Feel Good, the man with the golden voice, the lady's choice, and of course, smooth as a Rolls Royce. Coming to you live from the 571 where I get it done and I have fun. Bringing it to you in the new year to so lend your ears as I give it to you right here. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta, whose Founders Day is tomorrow. They're 110 years old. On Sunday, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated will be 115. Shouts out to them. And last but not least, on the 16th, are the finest ladies of Zeta Phi Beta, the blue and white, to get it right and always keep it tight. They will be 103 All on right. Monday. Back to wow. you, Doc. All right. Well, without further ado, we're going to take it right over to you, Special K. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Special K. I'm over here in the 912, Savannah, Georgia. I'm hoping everyone is having a blessed and prosperous New Year so far. And I just want to thank you all for joining us tonight. I'm excited for tonight's topic, and I can't wait to hear from all of you. All right. Well, thank you, Special K. And our Lady T, 
in her absence this evening. She wishes each and every one of you a wonderful, excuse me, let me rectify that, a tantalizing Thursday. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, tonight is a little different because we're coming to you with a subject matter that makes you go, hmm. So tonight it was stated if you were, or let's say myself, I am a woman. And if I could switch myself into the male species for 24 hours, what would I do first and why? So all the ladies on the panel this evening, you're no longer a lady. You are a man for tonight, for the next 24 hours. And for all the men, Dr. Feel Good will become Lady Feel Good for tonight. And with that being said, I'm going to come across the board and welcome everyone. Welcome back, Nikki. Welcome to our newcomers. Robinson last name. Are you pronouncing the first name Najee or Najee? Najee. Najee Robinson. Welcome, welcome. Roderick Wells, welcome, welcome. Dalen Brown, welcome. And Ray Vaughn, welcome. So with that being said, I'm going to start it off with my favorite girl, Miss Millie. Miss Millie, tonight you are a man. Okay. So if you could turn yourself into a man for 24 hours, tell me what would you do first and why? The first thing I would do if I was a man, of course, I would make sure to wine and dine a woman and treat her the way she need to be treated. All right now. And I would not be a cheater. And now women you're doing and all of this in 24 be... hours now. Uh, what you want your name to be tonight? Milton? Morris. Morris. Okay, Morris. So, <laughs> once again, you said you're going to wine and dine. I will wine and dine or give, show her a real good time a real in 24 good... hours. It would be, the, she would do more in 24 hours and have the time of her life in 24 hours than she had her entire life. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Morris. So, Nikki, Nikki, you know we doing it. You missed it last week, Nikki, honey. We did some true role playing. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tonight, Nikki, you want to be Nicholas? Who you want to be tonight? What's your name for tonight? Nicholas came to mind. All right. So Nicholas, tell me what and how you're gonna satisfy this woman in being a man for 24 hours, and tell me why. Uh, well, Milton took my idea. Um, Milton took it. Yeah, well, Milton give me took something my else. Idea, but um, definitely for 24 hours, um, give her the attention that she deserves. All Be right. there. Um, try to bring, I would, I would show my emotions to her. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you will let her see your feminine side underneath, as they would say. Yes, and I would tell tell her everything. I'll be an open book. Well, there you go. So, you know, I didn't had two ladies to come and tell me exactly what they would do as a man. Do I have any men that would like to volunteer to give me their side before I start to call the roll? I volunteer Anson. You want Anson? <laughs> Anson going to be Antoinette tonight? Yes. Okay. Antoinette, do you hear us calling on you? So, Antoinette, listen, before you get started, don't be an angry black woman, Antoinette. Okay, we ready for you. <laughs> Antoinette, Who's you're Antoinette? so dark, I can't see you. Who's Antoinette? You. You. What, 24 hours. No, I can even go 24 hours ago before right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, um, if I was a woman for 24 hours, I would do what all women do. And what is that? Move. 
and for myself as priority all the time. So the whole 24 hours, it's going to be about me and nobody else. It's supposed to be what would you do for a man? I mean, I'm a man every day, so live my life. Okay, I'm let me to. wait, wait, wait. Let me help you out. Let me help you out, Antoinette. Antoinette, you supposed to find that good man. You supposed to do something extremely special for him and tell us why. You're no longer put all of those masculinity genes away for tonight. And if you ever want to have that feminine side show, give us everything you got this evening. Why would I do that? Oh, Lord. Um, Go to somebody Dr. else. <laughs> Dr. Feelgood call it, calling Miss Feelgood this evening. I think they dropped off. I'm going to call on. Um, I'm here. What are you talking about? Um, you hear me? My name, my name would be Destiny. Destiny. Okay. Well, Destiny. Yeah. Or, or cinnamon or whatever stripper name you want, desire. <laughs> I'd be a scripper. And be scripper. That's get what that you're gonna only... be in your 24 hours. Yeah, get that OnlyFans money, sell some feet pics, sell some toes, you know. Wear wear uh you know, wear one of them wear coochie cutters and and a and a half halter top, you know, with the bottom of my boob showing. Well, make it clap. <laughs> And make it make it clap. Get that, <laughs> don't let that money make you. That's what I would do for twenty four hours, and I entertain gentlemen more than one because I want that money. <laughs> so, they can look, they can't touch though, because I'm a good girl. In that, <laughs> that skill set, destiny. Let me ask you. You say you want to make that money. Are you going to be one of those skill set girls that can take the pole all the way to the top and slide back down? Of course, of course, of course, and then put some alcohol in it because I don't want the next girl to catch something. You know, gotta be gotta be health conscious. <laughs> you know what I tell. But make you. sure you grease it up so she don't um so she'll be able to slide like she need to also. I'm gonna put some Valtrex on it because you know you don't know what them what them where them chicks done been. <laughs> oh well, what is Valtrex? Twenty four hours, get that money. All right, so. We have one. He really didn't tell us. Um, Antoinette really didn't tell us. Destiny is going to get that money and do what she needs to do. I I saw someone in the comments saying that they want it to be Marcellus. Is Marcellus available to tell us what they want to do? Yes. Okay, Marcellus, go on and give us your detailed description of what you're going to do in your 24 hours as a man, Marcellus. Go to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and Destiny meet up. <laughs> so I guess, I guess you're going to go find Destiny. And, and Destiny will give Marcellus a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Said ride, ride Destiny, ride Marcellus's face, you know, the whole nine. I got to get that money. <clears throat> But no, there's no sex in a champagne room, though. So Marcellus will just have to go home with big old blue balls. Okay. All right, then. Well, I hear you. Um, Dalen, Dalen Brown. Well, I guess they're not available. Um, Mr. Jack, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, are you available this evening to talk hey, or Neil. comment? Can you hear me? Um, yeah. Be Millie Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Is um this is wild. Um this is a very creative a... spirit this evening. Yeah. Uh I guess a threesome. I mean if it's all females, I guess. Oh, that... okay. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. You got to break that all the way down for me. First of all, are you Janet Jackson, Millie Jackson? Who are you? I'm Miss Jackson, I guess. Yeah. You you, you just Miss Jackson. It's Millie if you're nasty. Miss, yeah, Miss, yeah, Millie Jackson, I guess. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, tell me, you said 
you're going to have an just, escapade with two additional just, women? Just oh yeah, woman only, yeah. Okay, well now remember now you are a woman. You're yeah, no, I know that. Oh, okay then. So, well, all so, right then. Well, enlighten us. Okay. I guess but, you know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna tell okay. y'all the underlying surface of that because he's really a man. That's the reason he. With the okay, but I'm not. I mean, gonna, you, you, you told me to pick whatever I want to be. So I'm, do what do I whatever be. you want to do and be very creative because tonight we're finding out who have a very creative side. Someone wrote in and they wanted this question to be asked. What would you do if you are a man and you could turn into a woman for 24 hours and the same for women? If you could turn into Mr. Right for 24 hours. So I'm not going to steal whatever Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, want to do. But please tell us, well, you said you're going to have a rendezvous with two other females. And so in 24 hours, that's all you're going to do the entire 24 hours. Oh, I mean, um, like I said, this is, uh, this is new to me. Um, well, we'll, we'll have a different conversation. We'll have something deep and profound for you next week about relationships. But tonight, we want to see your creative side and hear your little creativeness about being a woman for 24 hours. Welcome, Leanne. Okay, so I guess that's all he gonna give us. He's just doing that rendezvous thing for a straight 24 hours, and I'm sure he'll be tired um, after then. No, it's Mr. no. You won't be tired. No. You will be dealing with two women. Yes, but I got a Jackson blood in me. So <laughs> Action Jackson, I guess. Action Jackson. Well, go on with your bad self, Action Jackson. So is Najee available, the Robinson? Najee is not available. What about Mr. Brown or Miss Brown tonight? Okay. Um, Leanne, can you hear me? Well, I guess everybody logged no, on. No, I can hear you. I can hear you. You can Just hear me, Leanne. Leanne, Leanne yes, we kind of got a twist for tonight. Okay. And the conversation at hand tonight is very creative. We're exploring your mind. But would you believe someone wrote in and said, what would you do if you were a woman and you could turn into a man for 24 hours? What would you do and why? What is the first I'm thing you would do and why? Huh. <laughs> you thinking about that, Leanne? But but bring it, bring it to me now. Let me know. Because you know, a mind of a woman is totally different from a mind of a man. I know, but I'm a woman and I never had that experience. Tell us think man. about what you want a man to do for you. Yeah, put it on the other shoe. Um, anything and everything. If I'm a man and I'm looking for, and I'm looking for a woman, if I'm a man and I'm looking for a woman. Is that what you tried to say? Oh, yeah. God, you, don't have God. To, you don't have to be looking for a woman. You just a man. What is it that you're going to do as a man? Are you going to meet young boys and try to direct them in the right path? Because you have so many young boys that need a role model to put them on the right track. Different things you could do as a man. I, I haven't. Well, I will be a fly on the yet. wall and go. I will be a fly on the wall. Like going to our um meetings with the uh higher ups in the company mm -hmm. to 
much. So it's some to push to push my way in a different route. It's not so much being like a role model for the young men. No, no, that wasn't my first thought. And I got to be honest, you put that in there, but I got to be honest with you, that wouldn't have been my first thought. Okay, well, my first care. thought would have been my first thought would have been elevating me, not so much. And I know it's selfish, but. I only have 24 hours, so I got to do everything I can because what I can do for a young man, except teach him the ways of a man, I could do as a woman. All but right if I'm a man, but if I'm a man, I'm going to elevate me as a man because I only got 24 hours. So I'm going to do all I can to get in there just to see their thoughts. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try to see the male side of the, the male point of view inside so that. I can incorporate it in me being as a woman because like you say, we think differently. So I apologize because it's not a selfish way to raise up a child because I can do that no, as no, a woman. No. It's your idea. I yeah, was my trying idea to gauge was to you because get all I can get Number? on the man's point of view for elevation for me. All and right. I gotta say it that way. So you gonna climb the corporate out ladder get to the top to hear what the big boys are talking about so yeah i don't have to climb i don't have to climb the corporate ladder anymore though i don't oh. have to i don't have i don't have to climb that i'm on number oh. one this is my last year all right now you're getting ready to come <laughs> on out the door That's yes yes about. yes so there's nothing like it but I but i can still i can still elevate me by helping my friends and family i can still i can still do work getting all I can going for the gusto as a as a man for that 24 hour period. Yes. I got you. I got you. Well, that was a good answer. We have, um, with lady T she was unable to join us this evening, um, for different reasons, reasons and special case. She's actually here, but where she is, it's a lot of background noise. So therefore, She'll come on a little bit later um, to give her portion or her thoughts about this. So did I come across the board? Did I get everybody that was willing to share their thoughts as transforming themselves from whatever their natural God-given anatomy is to the opposite sex? How about Nikki? Nikki said you stole her idea. Okay. About how you would treat. Well, first and okay. foremost, you know, I'm going to be, ooh, who do I want to be? I'm going to be Marvelous Marvin. And so as being Marvin for 24 hours, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm almost like Leanne. I'm going straight to the top. Because, you know, my cousin always say, it's about that money with me. So I'm going right to the top to play with the big boys so I can rub elbows and put some ideas in their head about advancement of the Black woman. And then when you give them or shed light on them some knowledge, then they'll think about it and go, hmm, because if you can get them to think, oh, see, this is where you do it, you all. You go and talk to them about this woman. And so when I turn back into that woman, all of them, guess what? Gonna wanna check Dr. Fabulous because I'm gonna go and put her name out there and how she can make things happen. She's a mover and a shaker. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Leanne, you're so right. It was geared up. But then in that 24 hours, because there are so many young men that have different thoughts of what a role model should look like, I'm going to find me at least 10 young boys, 10, and we're going to sit down and conversate on their future of what they want to be and how they can become just what they want to be on the right road not the wrong road. Everybody got their own idea of what the right road is, but we're going to talk about education. We're going to talk about finance and we're going to talk about family because if you got all of that together, you are going somewhere. And so with that being said, I don't know if special K 
is ready to give her input at this time, but I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Feelgood. Oh, sucky, sucky. You don't want that. Um, my question tonight is pretty simple. I'm not going to do a case study tonight, um, but I am going to talk about without, you know, we, especially in, in our community, we have issues with, with what people wear, how people, how people conduct themselves in public and how would, how they, um, and how we're perceived by others. We say we don't care, but in reality, we do care. Now, for the ladies, I'm going to ask you, if you, as a guy, would you wear, um, what type of clothes would you wear to work? What type of clothes would you wear in a casual setting? What type of clothes would you wear working out? Kind of the three, kind of the things that we, we do every, we do every day. And gentlemen, I will say the same thing, but I'm gonna add another question. I'm gonna add another part to it. Would you wear your bonnet outside? <laughs> okay. Ray Vaughn, I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm, Ray Vaughn, I'm gonna start with you. Um what would be your casual wear, casual everyday wear as a woman? Ray Vaughn, can you hear? Hello? Can yes. You what would, yeah, what would be your casual wear as a woman? Which would what would you casually wear? Just give me an Jean, example. Jeans, t-shirt, and flip-flop. Okay. Now what would you wear to work? Um I guess uh, I'd be, I mean, in the corporate world, like a, a uh a suit. Okay, what type of suit? It's gonna be tight. <laughs> I like loose fit. Loose fit, I guess you know, because um, conservative. Oh, what would okay. you work out in, and where would you work out? Either at my house or just jogging the park, you know. And what would you wear when you work out? Sweatpants and t-shirt. Okay, and last, last, last part. Would you wear your bonnet outside the outside the house? <laughs> I mean, because I was cut my hair short, so um, I don't be no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Miss Miss Millie, thank thank you, Miss Millie. Wearing um, you're a guy. What are you What are you gonna wear? What are you gonna wear everyday wear? Everyday wear as a guy, as Morris, I would wear probably some jeans and a nice shirt and some loafers okay so would you would your pants be hanging off your butt never i would have a belt on and i would have it fit into my um body would you wear would you wear tight pants i wouldn't wear tight briefs no no tight pants not underwear oh, tight no pants. i wouldn't wear tight pants because they would see too much okay you what about any pants what about, Definitely what about not work? skinny legs as a man. Never. What about what about at work? At work, if I'm working, I'm gonna use the furniture world. I would dress business casual, making sure that I'm um very neat because um your presentation is everything in your um work in the workforce. So I would look very um nice. I wouldn't overdo it, but it would be right there where it needs to be. Okay. Given your age, what would you drive? As a male, as Morris at the age of 5.4, I would drive probably a Benz. Black with the wood grain interior. Palomino, okay. All right. And the gym, I probably wouldn't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, if I went to the gym, I would dress. I would go to the uh, regular gym and I would dress where as I'm moving and doing the things I need to do in the gym, making sure that nothing is too loose, but everything is where it needs to be. All right. 
Did you freeze out for a moment there, um, Destiny? And I would <laughs> never wear a bonnet out ever in the public. Because <laughs> I hate it as Millie. So I know I would hate it as um, Morris. I, we can't hear you, um, Destiny. You've lost okay. your... So, uh, um... I missed you, but what 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 would you drive? I would drive a Mercedes, a Benz probably, and I would have the wood grain on it with the black, um, black outer black with the brown, light brownish that caramel the looking wood beige. Thing. That's what she's looking for. Caramel beige. Yeah. Would you wear a Kango and have an earpiece hanging out your ear? I definitely wouldn't have an earpiece out, but every now and then that Kango it makes a statement. Okay, next, Ans Anson, what would you, what would you wear casual? Um, just something comfortable that's not too revealing. You know, I will wear something that's comfortable if it's hot. I wear like a nice little sundress or something like that. I you like know. to see that. Oh. The sundress. Hey, 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 that will not ever, ever happen, no. <laughs> Don't say that because if somebody asks you to pay you a million bucks just for you to put it on, you go put it on for that million bucks. So don't say that. My manhood can't be bought. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Then, then, then you crazy. I, I, Not crazy. crazy. Set up. We ain't gonna do we ain't gonna do stuff that because no matter how much money you got, you're gonna be that dude that wore a sundress. <laughs> right. Ex I would wear it, show it the devil if I was Mars for a million dollars. I know I would. <laughs> a Kango and a bonnet. <laughs> Me yeah, too. Casual. It has to be something casual. I mean, something comfortable. Okay, you work in an office. What What do you wear at work? I will wear a tailor fitted suit, whether it's a skirt suit or just a regular suit. Either way, it's gonna be tailor fitted. Please put that skirt on. Mm. <laughs> where, would you, where would you work out at, and what would you wear? Um. Ah. Uh, I would pretty much keep it the same. I like to work out in the gym, but I don't like to be bothered. So I would work out in a very not populated gym. Track okay. Team. And okay. always wear workout clothes. Not nothing tight and revealing. I wouldn't wear no damn makeup or have my hair done. That's, that's just dumb. But and... I would basically wear some workout clothes, just not something too revealing. And what about and what about would you wear a bonnet outside the house? If I wanted to, yeah. I sure would. Okay. Now what would you drive? Um one of them like little cute cars, I guess, like little two door cars, something like that. Any so, any particular nice, like, nice little coupe. Okay. Any particular car brand? Um, probably a Tesla. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's good. That's good, Miss Nikki. You're a dude. Yes, sir. What are you wearing? What are you wearing every day? Jeans or slacks with my shirt tucked in with a belt. Pants hanging down. No. I don't even know how they can how men can walk with their pants hanging down. That's just skinny skinny pants. No, no, no. And uh, um, so you ain't gonna have no moose knuckle. No, no what now? <laughs> moose knuckle. It's the opposite of a camel toe. Oh, okay. But listen, for all our newcomers coming in tonight is very a very creative night. We are changing all of the men into women for 24 hours. And we're gonna change all the women to men for 24 hours. And tonight I'm not Dr. Fabulous. I am Marvelous Marvin. So the question that's going around the table is now what they are wearing in the daytime, whether they're at work, at the gym, and where else, Doctor? Um, where else, Destiny? The cat, um, casual cat. What you Destiny, wear? You, you should put on your lady's voice. Yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I'm. A, I, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. But um, okay, okay, uh, Nicholas, 
back to back to you. What are you wearing to work? Oh, a, a tailor suit. <laughs> okay, what type of shoe? What what kind of shoes you gonna wear? Oh, um, oh shoot, what kind of shoes? Stacy Adams. See, Thank I was you. gonna say that too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say that too. And would you have a would you have a bowler hat, Kango, or 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 Applejack? Oh, the the bowler hat, matching and, going with the suit. Okay. And would you have the long long um because you're 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 mature? Would you have the long? Would you have a flip phone and a long earpiece? No. No earpiece. And what would you drive? I have an idea what you drive. What would you drive? A Porsche. A Porsche? Yeah. Wouldn't that be compensating for something? <laughs> Not if it's the four-door one, no. Okay. And what would you wear to work out at? And where would you work out? Um, it'll be shorts and a tank top. Something comfortable. And where would you work out? Um, it wouldn't matter what kind of gym. Okay. Just a gym that, that I feel comfortable with. Okay. Okay. Special K. Your your turn. What are you what are you gonna wear casually? I don't know if Special K is ready. But you know what? Oh, I, I, I am. I'm sorry. I just didn't hear um him call my name but you said okay so what would I wear as a man right yes casually okay um well casually probably just um I'm not I wouldn't wear skinny jeans but I would probably wear a nice pair mm -hmm. of slim uh nice fit uh fitted you know Levi jeans a nice button down something probably polo probably have me some Tim's on not the Tims, <laughs> yeah, girl, like a man in Tim. Yes, the Yankee yeah, that's right. what I look. I'm thinking of what I like. Oh, <laughs> and I'll so probably dress that way. <laughs> All right. Okay. And, what about at yeah. work? Oh, so at work, um, at work, you know, just something nice pair of slacks, definitely a nice pair of hard bottom shoes, um. Depending on the weather, you know, again, probably a nice button down, a uh, long sleeve shirt, or maybe a nice little sweater. Some days I might wear a little suit, you know, the trousers with the vest, not the whole suit, but with the vest and the shirt under it. Might throw me on a nice little hat. It just depends. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about at what about at the gym? At the gym? Um, you look like the great sweatpants type. Oh, now you gave me an idea. Um, yes, at the gym, I could go for that. Great, some great sweatpants. I definitely would have to flex my muscles because I think I'll be a little muscular, probably. <laughs> As a man, you drive, and yeah, just and that's about it. What, what would you drive? I'm sorry, what would you drive? Oh, okay. If I was a man, I think I want something fast. So <laughs> I know. Something. Yeah. I have to go with a probably what they call them things on a uh, scat, right? A scat, like them them type of chargers. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. A scat cat. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be a dope boy. Yeah. And I need mean, <laughs> all black, all black rims, all black on black. Black on black and chrome. <laughs> yeah, you love <laughs> But uh, okay, get... now what's your hairstyle? What hairstyle are you gonna rock? Um, I'm, I'll either probably do some dreads, nice neat dreads, or a low cut with some waves, with waved up, low cut, right. waved up. Would you have a beard? Yeah, I can't go bare face. <laughs> I have to have a beard, a goatee, or something. <laughs> You putting on I New Jack City. I think I'll be pretty attractive, don't y'all think? <laughs> you going on New Jack City. <laughs> All right, Marcellus, it's your turn. What what are you wearing? What are you, what are you wearing in the what are you wearing for casual? 
Okay, so for casual, I'm gonna do um, probably a polo matching set, pants and trousers, probably. <laughs> what type of shoe? Um, let's go with some Vans. Okay, what do you wear in the first? I'm gonna dress up. I'll be a dressy guy. Um, basically, Stacy Adams. Gonna wear some slacks, button down, depending on the weather. Like Kay said, if it's cold or hot, might put a trench coat on. Feeling New Yorkish. If it's summertime, just a nice button down. Okay. And what what, what hairstyle would you rock? Oh, I want to do probably curly hair and a beard. Period. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Would you put, uh, what's your what's your what's your um what's your your gym outfit looking like? Um, I'm a coordinated person, so let's. I'll probably get matchy. I'll probably do polo or Tommy Hilfiger, and have like the matchy sets working out. You know, guys don't care really what they wear when they work out, right? Some of them do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, um, what, what would you drive and where would you live? I would live in Miami and I drive a Porsche. <laughs> okay, and last, last question, what kind of woman would you want? I would want... I want an independent woman. I want a woman like going for the teachers, the doctors, <laughs> medical field, any of those kind of women, career women. Business owners. Business owners. <laughs> Shout out to Millie. <laughs> yeah, so in other words, so you wanna, okay, okay. That Actually, that's pretty good. Actually, that's that's pretty good. I'm, you actually thought You actually thought about this. Um, Najee, it's your turn. You ready? Aji. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to do it a little different. Gosh. Nah, just when you wear a bonnet, you wear your bonnet outside. No, nah, I hate them things. <laughs> <laughs> What are you wearing? What are you wearing to work? Uh, it really depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm if I'm doing what I want to do, which is cooking, then of course I'm gonna have to wear my little shelf outfit. But most time, if I'm doing what I want, owning the business, I mean it's just whatever I would decide to wear. Okay, okay. What about your casual stuff? I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Nike man, so nine out of ten it'd be all Nike. Either Nike or right now I've been on Fila, so. Okay. Now, what would you drive? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, that's a tough one, name because there's so many cars I love. Okay. Now I'm as a Yukon. As a uh, woman, I'm what just kind of guy a Yukon. I ain't gonna lie, I do like them Yukons. That's why I say there's so many of them. I love, I love cars. So it's like I can't even answer that one. So okay, then move on. As a woman, what kind of guy would you date? <laughs> really? Somebody like me. Somebody laid back, chill, go to work, handle his own business, take care of it, you know, just how much he gotta make. Money ain't an object. If we in this together, we gonna make our money. I like that. Does he have to be six feet? Um, I mean, I I don't know. I ain't never thought of no question like that. Does he have to have a six pack? I ain't never thought of no question like that either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I just. I just came out of left field with that one. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, if I'm based on how I do, like how I do women, I ain't I ain't got no preference on that. If I like you, I like you. So whatever it is, what it is. Okay, very good, very good. Okay to have a half a key. Now, I'm before I turn it over to Special K, I'm a I'm gonna tell you what what Destiny would do. 
for for regular wear destiny would have on no no jeggings no leggings no leggings outside destiny would have either comfortable slacks maybe some maybe maybe some capris or something like that um a nice a nice conservative blouse you know some flats some nice flats that that coordinated outfit nice nice bag doesn't have to be super name brand but it'll be nice for work destiny destiny would always slay and have an always not always dressed in suits but always setting the standard in how professional women would dress yeah destiny for, for did you say them, you would always slay always slay oh, hair laid out hey. hair well, laid out outfit on. outfit done no heels, no heels. I flat. You said slay at work, not always. You gonna always slay everywhere, or you gonna slay only at work? I mean, like the work that was that in, was in the work show. environment. In the work environment, gonna slay. Okay, that's okay. okay. Casual, casual's casual. Casual. Okay. Named a I'm few not, things. What I'm about glasso pants? Okay, at I, for a workout, I'd work at an all women's gym. Where I'll be getting it in and some comfortable yet breathable clothes because you know, sweat, people stink. Or I'd have a home gym where I would do, where I would probably ignore the stuff because that's what we do anyway, but where I, where I would work out. Never wear a bonnet outside. Never go outside with slippers on. Maybe Crocs because Crocs, you know, Crocs are versatile. And the kind of, the kind of man that I would, that, I would date, I would tend to date would be a man that's about that, that has integrity, that's disciplined, that has moral and ethic, morals and ethics. Does he, um, does he have to be a, does he have to be a male model? No, but only thing he has to do is, is be himself and treat me right. Great answer, great answer. My so, own destiny. So that's what that's that's kind of what destiny would do. That's kind of what destiny would do. What kind of um, car would you drive? Oh, destiny would would drive a BMW 650i. Well, all righty v- then, destiny. You got it down pat. Oh yeah, V8 coupe. Cause I ain't having no kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Destiny, you sound like some of these other people I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm going to jump in here for all our late comers that's coming in. We appreciate you coming. Tonight was more of, um, how you say, a switch swap. Females switch turning room. into men for 24 hours and women, excuse me, and the men turning into women for 24 hours. So, this is where the tables turn compliment of Lady T in her absence. Ladies, real anatomy female women, listen to this question because now you're going to be a man and you got to give each lady on our panel, we only have four, you got to give them your strongest Pick up line, ladies. I'm gonna start with Andreen because I know as Andreen as a man, she'll have a pickup line so deep. So Andreen, do you hear me? I know you hear me, Andreen. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> you hear me, Andreen? Uh-huh. Yeah. So bring your strongest pickup line as a man to Antoinette, who is actually answer. Antoinette, you sleep over there? Uh, um, that's hard. Ooh. Um, how could you, I don't know, challenge you, you me? Want, you, you want me to show you how to do it? I'm going yeah. to do my strongest pickup line <clears throat> to Destiny. I'm not sleeping. Because Destiny transformed herself from a stripper to a corporate woman. Did all the other women notice that? 
Destiny yes. went from the nightlife to the daylight <clears throat> as a corporate woman, because originally and Destiny lady, was a lady girl. in the street, a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Okay. So I'm going to talk to Destiny the way I think she would want to be talked to. Destiny, you hear me, Destiny? I can hear you. You put on a wonderful show last night. And those clear pumps you had on, they were killer. They were so good. You look so good in them. I would like to take them home with me, with you wearing them. What about that? That was a strong pickup line, boy. Y'all heard that? I moved right on in there real quick. What you got on my rent? <laughs> Destiny, now all you did for me last night was dance. You think you should be trivia to some rent money? Ain't nothing going on but the rent. You got to have a you got to have a bag to get with me. Okay. So I see we're going to leave Destiny where at? The strip, strip club. club. We're going to leave Destiny <laughs> right there. Okay. So that's the way it's being done tonight. So Special K, you got your strongest pickup line together for Anson, Dr. Feelgood, or Ravine, or Najee. Yeah, it's, it's probably a little cheesy. I, yeah, I had to think of something real quick. So, um, I would say, <laughs> hey, how you doing? You looking real good over there. But you got the first looking real who's, good tonight. Who are you talking to? Which one you going to pick? Oh, oh. Raven. Oh, it don't. Raven Natalie. Uh, Natalie or. Antoinette. No, I, okay, Destiny. Let me pick Destiny. You gonna get so Destiny, Destiny again? Yeah, Destiny seems to be a little spicy over there. So I would say, uh, uh, well, hey, Destiny, how you doing tonight? I've been seeing you over here. You looking pretty good. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'll put you and I together. <laughs> oh. Go on now. Go on, oh, kill it right oh, now. You and I. You just trying to lay it down, right? I'm not that type of woman. Look, what you got? What what you what you got on my gas? Because if you if you want to take me home, we got we got to talk negotiations. Oh. Now I ain't no I ain't no. All home, that money you done made up at that strip club tonight. <laughs> At least two VIPs before before I give you my number. <laughs> mm, oh, boy, go, go that's me gonna give me. That's I'm about to much. say that's me gonna give me a run for my money, huh? That's too much. <laughs> that's why I said I was VIP. leaving Destiny at the strip club. Yeah, mm, baby, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, Marvin, you ready to give your strongest pull line? Is it Marvin? Millie, what's your name? Morris. Oh, Morris. I'm talking about Marvin. Okay. Who you going to pull in tonight, Morris? I'm going to take Mr. Jackson. Uh, it's Miss Jackson now. Well, I'm going to take Miss Jackson because you're nasty. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so I would say, Miss Jackson, you were wearing those jeans. If I had an opportunity to make those jeans look better, would you give me a chance? No. Um, <laughs> I'm I might Christian. be going to fatten up your pocket. I'm, I'm very religious. That's the reason why. Uh, wait till marriage first. <laughs> but wait, wait, okay, let me rearrange it then. Let me, let me say it again then. Because you're very religious. If I had an opportunity... <laughs> I enjoy going to church. Will it be okay if I go to church with you this Sunday? Sure. Uh, hey, that'll get me on in now. No. <laughs> 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 um, Miss Jackson, are you okay over there? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm saving the best for last. 
um, Leonard, who is Leanne. Okay. You got your strongest pickup line together. <sighs> Leanne. No, I don't have a pickup line. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, okay. Good evening. Who How are you? Who is going to be your I, subject? I, I really don't know because I don't. I don't have that thought concept as being a man approaching a woman. <laughs> so I, I just think. I should just ask, "How are you?" And are you here alone? Do you mind me sitting with you? I don't know. Whatever man is at the bar. Hell, give me one. Let me see. I can't do rev. <laughs> Because Rev don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, we pop a duck. I haven't heard from Papa Duck all night. Because he, he talked plenty ground. He just popped down. What's so his Papa name? Doc, listen, listen. What's his name? Papa Doc not gonna be Papa Doc tonight. He gonna he, be Paula. Paula. Oh. Paula. Whoa, wait hey, a minute. Paula. Hold on a second. Hold on a oh. second. Hold pump the brakes. <laughs> pump those breaks uh, first of all what is going on here because i surely don't know what's happening see 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 that's why i picked on him mm -hmm. see Pop the tonight, tonight the yes, concept is if you could be a woman for 24 hours what yeah. would you do and why what would you do first and why and then the second one is the women are able to be Mr. Right for 24 hours. So Leanne, who is now Leonard, is going to talk to Papa Doc, who is now Paula, and she's bringing her strongest pickup, his strongest pickup line to you. All righty. If I could be a woman for 24 hours, which I have no desire to do. Um, <laughs> Uh. Woo. Say what Look. you like in a woman. Huh? Yeah, okay. I you know, I would stop acting like, you know, my stuff is golden all the time. Like, you know, like you gotta be some, you know, emperor or prince to get it. You know what I mean? I mean, I you know, I ain't saying just go ahead and give it to everybody, but mercy. Paula, 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 you starting <laughs> off talking about Anyway, Paula, go on. Well, well, so right. You, you, this you, is not you, woman bashing now. This is not women bashing. No, this is definitely not a woman's bash. But it, the, the, the thing is, I, I, I feel like sometimes y'all just make it so hard for us to relate to how to get to you as a one on one person. Everything ain't, every man ain't trying to come after you for sex necessarily on the first date but right you know, on the first day but i said eventually eventually yes, I, yes. I just said that eventually yes okay. you know okay. so yes. you know yeah. so but did you hear um, that key word um leonard he said not necessarily but really necessarily did you catch what? that uh -huh. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Okay, I, I came in on the tail end, so I'm gonna just have to go with that. But yeah, I mean, um, I just, well, let's switch I, roles. Let's switch roles, Paula. Since you're a little confused, yes, you're a woman. You're a woman, and you're at the bar, and you see this man. What would be your strongest pickup line to pick up this man? Uh, one is, I guess it's just how you doing, uh, you know, you so come you here often. you introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm so-and-so. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me back up. I'm Paul. Uh, how you doing? I'm Paula. You come here often? Oh, how's the people? How's everything? Okay. Yeah. You a married man? Yes or no? Okay. You take it? Yes or no? Oh, okay. Well, I like you. You're attractive. You know, what do you think? You Maybe did we can. Good. You did pretty yeah. good, Paula. But Paula, you left off one thing, Paula. Just one thing. One thing. Yes, ma'am. Are you are you here with someone? Oh, are you here with? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, because you did ask ready. for the man, but you the man might have gone to the bathroom, or he she might have had another person at the bar that approached her right before you did. 
you, you ain't trying to get into no conflict, confrontation. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. You did because well. he did what I said. He did the same thing that you call me Leonard. I like Lance better, but Leonard, you said the same thing that Leonard said. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome, welcome. I because that's not you. really true. A pickup line. That's that's him being. That's not really a pickup line. That's him being honest Damn. and straightforward on a on a conversational note. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I, said. I, I, I That was I, I, cool. But, but here's the thing about it. I, I think it could be, you know, just that easy, you know, vice versa for a woman. Like, like I say, the, the, the thing is sometimes to me, I think y'all make it so hard to get to know a woman. And just because we speak, you know, you don't necessarily have to deliver the, the attitude of, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like you talking to me or whatever, you know, it's just... Yeah, I'm taken, or I'm not interested, or you know, I'm not looking to, you know, add new friends or date anybody right now, you know, and just be, you know, simple and easy about it, you know. But some women play so hard to get. Okay, all right. I see some new people on the board. Welcome, Crystal Thomas, Michael Foreman, um, all of you. Welcome, welcome. Tonight is a little different. Next week, we'll have a little deep, heart-wrenching relationship question. But tonight, we wanted to have just a little fun allowing men to get the feel of being a woman for 24 hours and for the women to get the feel of being Mr. Right. Because every woman wants that Mr. Right. So you got 24 hours to be in the shoes of Mr. Right. Crystal, can you hear me? Crystal Thomas, can you hear me, Michael Foreman? Okay, well, I thank you for logging on. Is there anyone? I want to come back to Miss Jackson with her nasty self. Miss Jackson, can you hear me, Miss Jackson? Yes. Okay, Miss Jackson, you said you was the religious kind of girl. Okay, so I'm going to take you all the way back to church. Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah, so, I know. Go ahead. No, no, no. Miss okay, Jackson, Miss Jackson, you that religious girl. So mm -hmm. I'm coming. I'm going to come to church, and I know I'm a very suave, good-looking man. And you just happen to have on this old tight white skirt. It's Communion Sunday, and okay. you drop your handkerchief, and I pick it up for you. <laughs> What do you tell me at that point in time when I give you back your handkerchief? Now you checking me now because I done walked through and I seen you looking. We kind of, you know how you're in church and you get them meeting eyes, the meeting of the eyes. Mm -hmm. So what do you do when I give you back that handkerchief? Y'all know Thank I'm really good at this role play stuff. Okay, I, I, I'm, pre I'm pretty good at role play. Yes, you know, I'm okay. I used to act them back in the day, so. Okay. I would so, Miss Jackson, for, with your, your name, religious what, nasty self, what's, I'm what's giving your you name back again? your handkerchief. What's, what's your name? My name is Marvelous Marvin. Hey, what Brother you? Marvin. Thanks, mm -hmm. Brother Marvin, for helping me out with the scarf. How, how was the message today? The, message, the message was good. Um, what's your first name? Millie, Millie Jackson. Yeah, Millie Jackson. Are you calling me well, Sister Jackson? Sister Jackson. Yes. Um. The service was really good, but as we were passing the communion plate, I saw you smile at me. Was that smile an invite? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. See, I threw them all yeah, off that yeah, game. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it was an invite. It was sure. an invite? Yeah. So would you like to have Sunday dinner after church? Um, yes. Okay. Well, where are you going to take me? I'll meet you outside. Let me talk to Pastor like first. To where we're going, second, how to uh, what the dress would you know? Okay, I got to I got to get the word to the pastor, and um, I'll get back with you. Okay, don't go too far. That's the way okay, you sweep brother. them all. That's the way you sweep them all when you really was just trying to check to see if they was gonna give you some play. See how okay. the man do you? See how see, a man do you? Before he was so religious. <laughs> 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 okay, y'all. 
I know y'all saying the nastiest one. Go on, Doctor Fabulous is crazy as a PK child. Mm-hmm. But I didn't took him to church, picked up his handkerchief, and now he's. But you about to feed him. Family. But you about to feed her. That's why. That's, that's what why. it is. That's the free, yeah, free meal, I guess. The, Mar- that's right. Bring that's exactly. Over to, that's exactly um, Mar- house where so he's I can going. Make sure y'all have a good dinner. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's been really fun. <laughs> is if there is anyone, you know what? I really want to try my smoothness on um Paula. Paula, Paula, are you taken? Papa so Doc, wait a minute. To Paula. Yeah, yeah, so wait a minute. <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't get used to the, the uh, you know, being a female for 24 hours. I'm sorry. That just, that just ain't in my blood. So, but, uh. <laughs> hey, you know, so, you know women don't listen anyway, so. So, so, <laughs> Pastor, so, so marvelous, marvelous Marvin. Marvin. Could you, Marvin, could you repeat that again, please? I was saying, are you available, Pamela? Are you taken? Are you married? I'm not married. What exactly are you looking for in a relationship? Well, right now I'm dating. You're dating? Yes. Oh, well, okay. So, you know. Are you happy? Uh, am I happy dating? Yeah. Who said that? Um. Mm, uh, Milton. Milton. Okay. Milton. <laughs> Milton say, are so, you happy, Paula, with who you're so, uh so I'm happy, but you know, it could be I'm you know, it could be better. I'm, it could be an improvement on me being happy. You can help me improve my happiness. Oh, so when I hear that, I think I'm just gonna go on and back away from you, Paula, because sound like you a cheater. Yes. Well, first of all, I said I'm dating. I didn't say I was with anybody. If I'm are, taking, so I'd are, be are like, you, are you dating exclusively? Not at the moment. Oh, okay. But so, I am looking to date exclusively. Oh, okay. See, you, you, you see how? Mm, okay, Paula. Paula, mm, I think I'm gonna go on back. I'm gonna go back over there with that church girl, cause see, I can draw her in. You know, I, yeah, I can but, cultivate her. But sound like Paula got some street game like destiny over there. Mm. Probably be in a strip club together. Yeah, yeah, I think Paula hey, got that on the low. Hey, work what's with wrong destiny. with going to this? What's wrong with going to the strip club with, with you know, on, on a date with your mate? That's not appropriate. Uh, says who? Yep, I. That's the I, golden I, room. I, I like you go with I your like boy. That's Jackson. something you go I'm with your boy. With Sister Jackson. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm stick so, with Sister Jackson myself. Right, wait a minute. Hold on. So let me let me step out of that polish <laughs> shell for just a minute, right? Ladies, when you're dating a guy, not that the strip club is the the most place you want to go on the date, but not for the first date, um, Paula. Yo, no, not for the first date. No, Maybe no, no. But, have... but but in a relationship. <laughs> Should, if you okay. should happen to run into a, a guy that just happens to like to go to strip clubs and he invites you to go with him, it doesn't change your sexuality because you went to a strip club to see naked women. You're going with your man because that the same way you would like for him to go to a play with you, it's the mm-hmm. same thing as... Mm-mm, what? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. What, what if I got clothes on What if play? I want you to go up me to see the male dancers? I need to flip it. What if I want you to go with me to see the male dancers? To the pink pony. Mm. Listen. That's, that's yes. going to now, if you going to a club where they so, got a girl so, side so, and a boy side, uh-uh. Okay. What woman, what woman, unless they like coochie, want to see coochie? No, that's not true. Uh, it's not no. True. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> no. Let, mm-hmm. It's the same thing. So let me ask you your question. If you invited me to the club to see the guys is hanging and swinging, okay, even though that's, I'm securing my manhood enough to say, okay, I want yeah, my but lady that's and that's not, where she want to go. That's not appropriate is what I said. I think that's inappropriate. Man, so I've had some wouldn't... fun. I had some fun with some women in a strip club that we went out together and went to a strip club together. 
that, that, was, a, that was a great question. time. Yeah, and then you're going to want to start swinging. What, and then you're going to want to start the swinging. Go what's ahead. The huh? um, what's the date? It wasn't, well, yeah, it was kind of a date. It was kind of like, let's go hang out. And it actually, wasn't, it actually wasn't even my idea. And she don't like coochie. Okay, let me help out with that. I have yeah, went quick to the question, strip right? Club. Quick, okay, question. What if the table the table was turned and she want to go to a strip club where it's all a gentleman club? I mean, it was I guess a, a male strip club. Would you go go with them? Um, he, he said I yes. Was, I said yes. Okay, yes. I, I he said yes. Mm -hmm. hey, never mind. Because what I seen when I went to the female strip club, I went home and tried to do what they was doing. I was trying to make class. Yes, but <laughs> see, <laughs> see, see, that's, see, that's where you went wrong at. That's where you went wrong at. You stepped across the line. Eh? You no, when I went home line. with him. It, that's I what I'm saying. I with him after leaving the club. Everything I saw them doing, I was trying to do. <laughs> but see, <laughs> Listen, listen. But you know what? I don't think, can I say this? I don't think that's for, I understand the women who are opposed to this, that they have their beliefs. So that's not something you can expect from every woman. Just like you Everybody said, the, woman, you, do it. the no. woman that you went with, she initiated me, myself, and then it could come from, it could be, well, I ain't going to say generational because I don't know, yeah. but I've done it before too. I've been with a, a guy I was seeing at, um, and it wasn't the first date. Granted, it was after some time in and I went twice and it wasn't, at first it was on some like, it wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I wasn't, right. I don't, I'm not into women. That's not my thing. So I right. wasn't turned on by them, but I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you, we had fun. We, we had ate, a ball. Right, we ate, we drank, and the atmosphere was just fun. It wasn't That's like it. it was females just coming up on him dancing, and I'm right. sitting there. It wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. But you again, you have to be comfortable enough. So I don't expect the next woman if she does, she may not feel comfortable enough to do that, or that just may not be her thing, and that's fine. Yeah. So I don't well, think you should go into something expecting the young lady you're with to to do that but you know right. if you if, if that's what you like then to me that's what you go for that's why the dating process is so important to be with someone you're compatible with and i think that's yeah. why a lot of relationships go wrong correct absolutely i agree with you so so like i said when he asked me would i go with her i said the first thing is you got to be secure in who you are first yeah. okay if you're secure in who you are all of that doesn't matter. If you if you with your date, y'all having fun, and it's all about going out. What happened in that particular case was, this was the only place open that time of night that we could get a drink in. So, you know, I was for it, she was for it. We had a ball, we left, and that was that. Mm -hmm. But it was a good night. It was a good fun night. Gotcha. Well, I was always told the strip club is only the place to go get you some chicken wings and some pork chop sandwiches. So, you know. That well, it is good food there. Hey, yeah, no doubt about <laughs> it, you know. Hey. Chicken wings and fried like, pork yep. chop. But yeah. uh, talking from experience back, of course, I'm from Miami to 305. And I'm not going to put this person out there, but they are of celebrity status. And um, they were dating <laughs> a girlfriend of mine. And she wanted to see if he was actually there. So in certain strip clubs in Miami, you can't go in just being a female. You got to be escorted by a male. So we would always go with different people and sit in the corner because she was actually playing security guard to see if he was well known in the club. But like they say, they serve the best chicken wings and the best fried pork sandwiches you could possibly ever want to get at any restaurant there in South Florida. My experience, I wasn't going to look, y'all. I was going to eat. So there you got it. But okay. <laughs> All right. Tonight. True confession has... Thursdays. Okay. Anywho. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, pop it out. Yes, pop it out. You, yes, seem to be that, you seem to be that person. So. When, when the religious, see now I'm that type of person, I'm going to give you an overall rundown. Okay. When that religious old nasty 
Millie Jackson first came on, yeah. Millie Jackson said that they were having a threesome with two women. Yeah. So Millie Jackson, let me give it to y'all. Millie yeah. Jackson and went to church and got saved now. Did y'all yeah. catch that? Millie Jackson started out with her threesome <laughs> with two women and now Millie Jackson has gone to the word of God. So y'all, let's give Millie Jackson a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Save, sanctify, Holy Ghost film. <laughs> and then, wow. you know, I'm gonna slide right on back over here to Destiny. Destiny was our profound stripper and dancer looking for a way to pay her rent. Destiny, give yourself a bow, if you would. <laughs> Destiny, you hear me? Heard, All right. Heard. And then we, we had- Destiny's um, third person. Destiny, hey, Destiny going to do what Destiny going to do, because Destiny independent and strong. And strong. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and wear and, and, and the claws. And don't know how to wipe, wipe Destiny's butt, so. Hey, I'm, we got I'm, you, Destiny. Destiny, we, that, Destiny's that B. We got not you, a Destiny. B, not the B, but that B. <laughs> I got you. And then we had Alicia. Alicia was a little reserved. She was like standoffish. I'm not going to say that Alicia was snooty, but she wasn't that most friendly kind of girl. And if I had to pick a girl off the board for tonight, Men, let's cast our vote. All the men here tonight who are actually women, we are casting our vote for what woman that set us on fire this evening in a nice kind of way. I'm going to start with you, um, Melvin. No, it's not Melvin. What is it? Morris. Morris. Who are you voting for this evening? Miss Jackson, because she's a little conservative. She done went from being... <laughs> From being over the top, now she's toned it down. It toned it down. Okay. So I'm gonna come on down to um uh, what was his name? Marcellus. Who are you voting for this evening for the outstanding woman, outstanding female? Listen, my money's on destiny because I desire. <laughs> oh, okay. And so um Calvin, who was um special K. Who are you voting for this evening? Um, I, um, I might have to say, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Destiny. Okay, y'all getting to Destiny. Okay, and Nicholas, who is actually Nikki, who are you going for? I vote for Destiny because she can really pull out the gold, the gold digger. That's the crown right there. Oh, okay. So, Destiny, you're in the lead tonight. Um, and Leroy, is it Leroy? Le no, she said Lance. Lance, who is Leanne? Who are you voting for? I'm gonna go ahead with um, Mr. Um, Miss, with, 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 with Miss Destiny also because of the approach. Oh, okay. okay. And the Papa, winner Doc, is. Papa God, Doc got a good approach on meeting the on meeting the man, but Destiny, like uh, Nikki, Nikki said, he got a different angle. He had a different angle. He looking oh. for dollar bills, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's all. Destiny <laughs> no, what he was doing is he looking. He he acted just like a gold digger. I, it's I, like I, it's all about the dollars, and that's what y'all like. So okay, Destiny. But question, right? So I guess it's the ladies on like a, a good a good. Uh, a good old Christian girl. No, they don't want no. That's just like the yes, they do. Yes, the they men do. don't want a good old Christian girl. Girls want a bad boy. They don't want a bad boy. No, 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 no. Girls. Christian men are bad boys too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen, Wait a listen, minute. listen. You playing that? You playing that? We see you on Sunday, girl. <laughs> let me tell you something. Like you just let me tell you something. You were man first. Mm. Even before you became the pastor or whatever. <laughs> Okay. You know what you said? You gonna hold out till you get married. I don't know how old you are, but you better test the He gonna hold out now. Hey, hey, hey. Remember, right? Hey, I, no, I was in no the brother street. I know. <laughs> I was in the street. Remember, I was in the streets at first. Remember, I was in the street. Right. At first. He, so he I, was doing I, the three first, and then he changed. So what's gonna happen with you? Because you had a taste of honey before. 
<laughs> you he trying to find out what you know. Yeah, you mm-hmm. trying to really get into the word and try to think you're gonna find a mate. But I'm gonna tell you that late that song that Marvin Gaye sang that he got killed on. That sanctified Damn. woman. Listen to the words in that Not song. Not the sanctified woman. Yes, I need him to listen. I need him to listen to the words, not so much the music. I need him to actually pay attention to the words, the lyrics. Well, you better, lyrics. you better, you better preach, hear Lance. His daddy. Huh? I, I just, say, Lance, I'm... you better go on and preach. <laughs> well, what he wanted to be, he was the one that say a Christian man. Every Christian woman wants a Christian man. We want to be equally yoked. Don't get exactly. me wrong, but 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 but, but we all fall short. But but also y'all want to go diggers then I guess like that. Amen. No 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 no. They, they no, didn't no, want no. to go. They didn't want to go digger. They wanted. They didn't to go want to go dig digger. In. That's why he they walked wanted away. to go That's... dig in. Um, nasty Jack. <laughs> That's what they wanted. They wanted to go dig in. Mm-hmm. So, for, so for future episode, right? I need to bring Miss Jackson. You know, Miss Jackson in the streets. I need to stay. Uh, <laughs> so you see, I look for a transition. Like, hey, I start off bad, but okay. No, 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 no. Because you got that experience, it's going to come out in the sheets. Correct. So you cannot, so you Whoa. cannot, you can't. I'm just Whoa. saying, so, I'm going to tell so, you, I'm going to tell you. Know you. What? I dated a guy that was holier than thou until I got yes. to his apartment, okay? Yes. 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 I told yes. y'all this thing, too. He was trying to the use picture. Jesus Christ no to, get to, to get some there ass. No, 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 no. You can't be using Jesus oh, no. to get Hey, can't do that. Hey, hey, I just want you to know that worked both ways because I, woo, that, that holy woman, oh my God. I would never forget her. Yeah, oh. And, 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 and what you do, and wait a minute, I'm going to help you out because I am a woman. That woman yeah. who trying to use Jesus to get her song. Oh, tell yeah. her to, Tell her to let's pray. Hey. And then see how she act when you stand hey. off and not, and not approach her in a sexual manner. She gonna be thrown strong. for a loop. She gonna be thrown for a loop because Lance, she was like, oh, Lance. Lance. good man. Hey, she was. Hey, Lance, 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 I Lance, wasn't that strong, you baby. You giving out too I'm much sorry. information, Lance. I, wasn't I gotta that teach strong. her. I got to teach that I got to teach that Christian hey, man. Hey, hey, First, Lance. See, I'm going to be one of those girls and say let's pray. And then you're going to be mad as hell when you don't get no coochie, okay? Hey, so hey, 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 hey. People pray, right? Listen, but God forgive, okay? See if you know your, the Bible verse. <laughs> okay, he just answered the question. He going to get it and ask God to forgive him on communion. <laughs> what you want to say? Lord, he just said. While I'm getting, are you going to say Lord forgive me while I'm getting it? <laughs> huh? Boy, no. I tell you, no. this is I'm about happened. to get this, Lord. Forgive me because I'm zoning <laughs> in. That's what I'm trying to tell you. you. It wasn't so you much about you being a man. You lying. You lying in the get go. You you're not we, true to the word. No, we, we listen. We quote scripture in the Bible. Remember King Solomon. How many how many wives have you had? Yeah, but we're not gonna quote the scriptures. What we're gonna do is show actions on us. What hey. I'm saying is, you approach the body, me, you a man, I'm a woman, you approach me with that godly tone, I'm going to test you to the hill, and you're going to be mad because if I come win. through, well, when I come through, it's going to be a problem. Come no, we, on we, now. We, we, come we, we, on. play Bible. We could be David and um, what's the uh, Solomon mother name again? Um, Gosh, I need help. You got to be David. Jackson. You could be hey, David. Hey, you could hey, take a bath. Yeah. He said, the Lord, is, the Lord is my shepherd and he knows what I want. That's what she that's what no, <laughs> said. The, the Bible said, knock, acting shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock, and those legs will be open. <laughs> okay, that's not, that's the door. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, we're going to bring this. Listen, Dr. Oh. Pamphlet is now back in the house. We're going to bring this all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We <laughs> knew you were. Holy from the getting, talking about, I'm a church going man. I'm like, okay, Lord, here we go. I done dated, I done dated several pastors and they mad at me because I'm going to preach to them and they ain't going to get none. They ain't going to get none because I'm going to preach with them. Listen, listen, Jesus made wine. I'm drinking some wine, okay? Jesus made, I'm sipping some wine. Okay. I'm just telling you. Okay, you play that preacher everyone, role if you want I to. You man you first. so much, um, Lance and Millie Jackson. <laughs> and Paula and Destiny and Nicholas, um, Calvin, 
all of you all. I appreciate you all so much. It's never a dull moment with any of you all. And if you all, when you all watch this segment, you're going to say those people are really crazy, but it's all about good fun, good laughter, and how do you say, just good communication skills. And this is what you do when you get together with adults that know mm -hmm. how to have fun. So we'll see uh -huh. you in place next time, next Thursday at 830. And please don't forget to go to YouTube, like us, share us. And the key word is upscale love for you because we're here for you. And I'm going to ask um, now Dr. Feel Good, who was Destiny, who won this evening, if he has something he would like to say. And we'll come on back to Special K. And then we're going to get out of here, y'all, because it's almost 10 p.m. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Thank y'all for, for a great show. Like Dr. Fab said, like, subscribe, upscale love, the number four, the letter U at gmail.com if you got questions. Um, the show's going to be up a little early, to probably early Friday. I want y'all to have come back. You see the conversation is conversation was good. And we, we want y'all, we need y'all. But over to you, Special K. All right. I just want to say, everyone, thank you for participating and watching. I love the opinions and the conversation. And just come back and join us every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Excuse me, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, next week, we know we're going to have another great topic for you guys. And again, thank you all. And everyone have a blessed weekend. All right. Happy Founders Day, Sarah. Oh, girl, yes, Sunday, <laughs> J15. Let's do it for them. Oh, got a, little, got a little horse, got a little horse. I've All been right, talking, I've been you. singing in the choir. Sorry. I've been singing in the Sorry. choir. I got you. Oh, really singing oh. in the choir? I've been I singing in the choir. But I got okay, you. everyone, we thank each and every one of you. Like um, Dr. Feelgood mm -hmm. said, please go to YouTube and like and share and also view us because. We have enough of members. We just need you all to give us some viewing time because we're trying to rise to the top and we will be coming to a city near you. Our first stop is going to be in Atlanta, GA on March 25th. And then we will put the itinerary out for our next stop. So guess what, Nasty Jackson? We coming to your town. We are yeah, here. I'll, be, I'll be logging on next week. Mm, I know you will. No. I'll be I'll all be official right. member now. You official know. member. All right. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Like so with that yeah. being said, we're going to say good night. And everybody <laughs> yeah. that knows Dr. Fabulous, my sign off is guess what? Smooches. Good night. Good night. Good night.